Digitech, Galaxis. Some are calling it the Swiss answer to Amazon. All I can tell you is that when combined, these two retailers take the top spot when it comes to online marketplaces in Switzerland to the tune of about 990 million in revenue last year. Recently, they decided to accept cryptocurrencies for a number of products on their sites. I'm here now with Dominic to find a little bit more about why. It's been live now for a couple days. Any customer insights, sort of what, what sort of products are being purchased, what sort of amounts? Of course, the minimum spend again, 200 francs. Yep. What's it looking like so far? It looks really interesting. It's there, there's a really fun effect that we've noticed. A lot of people who buy with Bitcoin or just general cryptocurrency in, at the moment, they buy things that are pretty much worth 200 francs. So we chalked this up to it being curiosity that leads them. Yep. They want to see what happens when you actually use Bitcoin in a Swiss context. The idea was lurking in the shadows for right. a long, long time, right. and Spectre sometimes digs these things up, and yep. then they go for it. When they think, yeah, this is interesting, we should do this. Okay, cool, that's and that's Spectre, that's, that's the engineering side of the DigiTech Galaxy Spectre Galaxis is family. one of our engineering teams. Okay. We've got several of those. Some are named after Bond movies, such as Spectres. Right. Others are named Darwin, for example. Besides, having fun with it and offering something fresh, something new. I mean, is this just a PR move or is, are there some real sort of crypto maximalists in the, com in the company? Or? So cryptocurrency is not one of the main topics that we have, but however, there's a lot of people who are very enthusiastic about it and this is not just engineers or just the people down in, downstairs in a shop or something. Like they're in all levels of the company. So yeah, we have crypto enthusiasts and of course we sort of pride ourselves of being at the bleeding edge of technology. Right, so, right. You know. Now, does DigiTech Galaxis, do you guys deal directly with cryptocurrency or that's what these partners are for to take care of that? Uh, we do not deal with cryptocurrency directly. We have our partners and they pay us in Swiss francs, okay. which protects us as a company from the volatility of the market itself. Right. And it protects the client from the exactly the same thing, right. essentially. The customer doesn't have to worry too much about volatility. No, not really, because um, what, what happens behind the scenes is that when you purchase something, you get a fixed exchange rate for 15 okay. minutes. Okay. And you know you deal with that, and that's basically, this is the price, so. Right. What kind of coins are accepted, and what does a purchase look like? You're on the site, a couple things in the basket, what happens next? So, first of all, you need to have a minimum purchase of 200 francs because otherwise the fees are way too high. And if you've ever bought anything on PayPal, mm -hmm. it's essentially the same steps. You click on a, on a, on a method of payment, which yeah. is, you know, you can select credit card, PayPal, and cryptocurrency. And instead of being redirected to PayPal's website, you're being redirected to Coinify, which is, you know, our partner okay. who does this sort of stuff. And then you verify the purchase and, you know, that's it. Essentially, as for what coins are accepted, um, we accept everything Coinify is working with, so that's Bitcoin including two forks, uh, Ripple XRP, Litecoin, and um, a few more, yeah. Ethereum, yes. Yeah, Ethereum, I saw also Binance Coin, Correct. and Neo as well. Looks also like. Tron. Tron too? Yes. Okay, so a whole basket. Yes. What do you think this means for the rest of the Swiss retail scene? They're gonna have a lot of catching up to do, presumably. Uh, do you think we're gonna see some more crypto adoption in the future? Personally, I hope so, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, crypto is, in a way, one of the things that will shape the future of how money is being transferred. I mean, the idealists go like, this is the end of banks, and the realists right. go like, yeah, probably not. Yeah. But it is something that will be a defining factor in the economy going forward, and also, you know, blockchain is not just for money. This is only gonna be uh, possible for Swiss customers at the moment yep. to pay with crypto. Yep. Uh, maybe plans to expand it out after that? Right now, not so much, Okay. basically because we first want to see how it works in Switzerland, iron out a few bugs, if there are any, we haven't found any major ones yet, yeah. and, but it's only been live for a few days, so you never yeah. really know. So we're just taking it a day at a time right yeah. now, but generally I think if this works out and is accepted by the clients, because we need to maintain this behind the scenes, yeah. we're gonna go for an international launch. That sounds fun, it's been real. Thanks so much for coming by. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Talk again soon.